Model Engineering for Beginners, Part 42. Repurposing a component by altering a commercial part. This is quite a short video because the job itself didn't take a long time to complete. I'm about to repurpose this 180 degree globe valve into a T-piece that allows a different pipe size to be fitted into the middle of it. And in case anyone's thinking, well that's a bit of a waste of a globe valve, well it would be if this one worked properly, but it does have a problem. Originally this was a steam valve for the injector on my large traction engine, and it drove me mad because it used to stick in the shut position. This valve is designed to use 5 16 of an inch diameter pipe, but I need a quarter of an inch diameter pipe feed to the steam pump that I'm fitting to the traction engine. It's a simple enough job to make an adapter type T piece anyway, I've shown this in many videos on my channel. Repurposing the body of this steam tap seemed like a good idea as it didn't work anyway as I've just mentioned and it's going to take a lot less time to make it. First of all I need to remove the hand wheel which is harder than it seems. Both the nut and the hand wheel are locked to the shaft with some sealant. Once I removed the lock nut the hand wheel was still too tight to manually unscrew and I had to resort to using this old pair of circlet pliers to get the wheel off the shaft. Eventually the hand wheel parted company with the stainless steel shaft. Once I'd taken off the parts that I needed, I put the hand wheel and the shaft in a box of generic bits and pieces. I was hoping that the thread in the body of the globe valve was going to be 3 8 by 32 threads per inch. That would allow me to use a commercial fitting, but alas that was not to be. Instead I'm going to modify this gland nut to become a union nut starting with the removal of the graphited yarn. In the top part of this image you can see the union nut and union cone which is for the larger 5 16 of an inch diameter pipe. And in the bottom centre of the image you can see the gland nut and this will need drilling out to accept the union cone for the quarter of an inch diameter pipe. I didn't bother checking what the thread was on the part that came out of the body of the valve. It looks to me to be around 26 threads per inch, but it could be BSP, which I think is about 28 threads per inch. I fitted the gland nut into my Boxford lathe, and here, using a quarter of an inch down to drill, I'm drilling out the centre of it. It does of course need to be larger than quarter of an inch in diameter, to fit the outside diameter of the union cone. I use one imperial drill size larger to give me the clearance. Because this isn't a union nut, it's a gland nut, it was a bit longer, so I've turned it round in the chuck and I'm machining some of it away, just to make it look better. In retrospect I didn't really need to do this, but it did look a little bit on the long side. The next part of the job is to drill through the centre part to get rid of the thread. In order to make sure that I got a good seal on the union cone, with the part gently clamped in the chuck by the threads, which is not a good idea, Slowly and gently I used a large centre drill to create the shape that I needed to accept the union cone. After finishing the machining operations I cleaned up the fitting and the union nut on my polishing spindle and here I'm applying some Loctite 542 sealant before I put it back together. A quick caution, don't use too much Loctite 542 on the thread because if it gets onto the paintwork it will locally strip off some of the paint. Here you can see the finished adapter. All I need to do now is fit the union cone into the union nut and screw the union nut onto the thread. And there you have it. Adapting a part like this is not under the general heading of proper engineering, but it's a good idea for two reasons. One being that it looks good, and the second reason being fitting this adapter will be very easy because it's replacing a tap that's already on the pipe. And needless to say, doing it this way does save some time, and that at my age is quite important, as it's something that we all run out of eventually. And that's it for this short episode. Stay safe, stay healthy, thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainstream Models website, and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.